All right, so in order to figure out the flux, we need to know what this angle here, theta, is. Right? And this is a little funny, but let's draw case one sort of separate from everything else. So here's our loop. Remember, the loop is coming out of the board like this. And here's our field. And what we need to remember is that the area vector for a loop points perpendicular to its area. So if our loop, here's our loop again, right? If our loop is like this, that means that the area vector either points directly that way or directly this way. So in this case, our area vector has to point in one of these two directions, like that. So you can see the angle between A and B is 0 degrees in this case. So that means that when I take the cosine, I get 1. Let's draw the other case. So here's my other case. Here's the area. Here's the loop now in position 2. Here's the field. Here's the area vector. And now you can see the angle here is 90 degrees. So now when I take the cosine of 90 degrees, I'm going to get zero. I hope that helps. <laughs>